Hey friends, welcome back into my studio. I hope you guys are doing amazing. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Jessica and I make videos about my small business. I like to take you guys behind the scenes, showing you what I'm working on, and most importantly, giving you little tips and tricks along the way. So we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into today's video. To be honest, I think today's video is going to be mainly packaging some orders, making a few different things. So um, we're gonna get straight into that. But as always, if you have any questions, comments on items, materials that I'm using, if you're curious about something, drop it in the comments below. I will do my best to get you an answer. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get to work by packaging some orders. So I'm going to be officially pressing the very first Christmas sweatshirt. I honestly listed like five items and within that same night, I sold three of three out of the five things. So that was really exciting. So we're going to be pressing this Christmas season uh, on a pink sweatshirt that I already have pulled out. And we have a couple of beer glasses that we're gonna make too. While I'm waiting on the heat press to warm up, I'm gonna to try to figure out how to get this out of the package and into my container. So I don't know if in this video vlog or the next one, I will be making wax melts because I'm completely out of my butterfly ones. So I need to get those made, but I had to order the dry flowers because I infuse them with crystals and dry herbs. And so this one, came in a normal package. This is for the butterfly ones. And this is supposed to be lavender, but it came in this thing and I'm afraid to open it. Like it's gonna go all over the place. So we're gonna attempt to open this and get it in the container. These are for my moon wax melts. So these are a sage, lavender crescent moon wax melt and I put lavender in there and crystals but I've never got them in this type of packaging so wish me luck I love this cute little jar. This is the jar that I use when I'm making the wax melts. I got that from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And then I use these mason jars that I got from Target to store um, any and all of my fresh herbs. I also use them for my smaller crystals and my glitters. So this wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, I'm using this funnel though, and it's not really going down very easily. So I'm gonna try to just pour it with the bag, but I do love this lavender. It looks perfect and smells amazing. It smells like lavender tea. So I would definitely buy this brand again. And I'm excited that I picked the right size jar. It was a perfect amount to hold this lavender. So just a little bit of a mess, but nothing too bad. Thank you. 
Now that the heat press has warmed up, we're gonna go ahead and press some sweatshirts. This is the Christmas season one. I'm starting with lint rolling the sweatshirt. I always do a pre-press for like five seconds. And for my heat press, it takes me about 60 seconds at 375. Um, I'm gonna remove this, let it cool off as this is a cool peel. And this design is super cute. I had one similar for Halloween and it sold really well. So I hope this one does good as well. And then once I pull the DTF off, I go ahead and give it a second press. You're also gonna be pressing my new favorite design, the skull butterfly floral. So I'm excited to see how this comes out. So I just wanted to point out that I had to turn the sweatshirt over on its side so I could accommodate the size of this DTF transfer. Um, I mentioned in a previous video when I purchased my heat press, which I don't mind this heat press at all, it's definitely an affordable option. I didn't realize that you could get different base sizes as well as different styles. So mine is a swivel, but you can also get a clam heat press. So I just thought I would share that. Um, Definitely, if I had a clam one with a larger base, I wouldn't have to turn it to the side. But this design is super cute. I love it. I decided to make one for myself. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out. This is a 2X. I'm actually not selling the 2Xs. I do small to extra large. They don't have 1Xs in these Gildans. They either have extra large, or they have 2x so I got me the 2x um, so I ordered my um, DTFs to mainly fit the other sizes a little bit better so this is super cute I'm not quite sure that I centered it right i'll have to check the other one the other one was a smaller size so it is so cute this one's mine so it's so baggy the 2x is so baggy but on a large or extra large this is gonna look perfect now we're gonna go ahead and put together our orders so we can get them to the post office today We have four beer glasses going out in this order. Um, they took advantage of the 40% sale that I had going on. So they snatched up some of the Halloween beer glasses that you guys have probably seen before. And our new little knockoff of the little Debbie cakes, the pink Christmas tree and the Dancer Prancer, Vixen Tequila, Avaca Blitzen, which is one of my favorites. So I got this little bag out cause I package them by disassembling the bamboo lids and the straws. So I'm gonna put the lids in this little baggie here. And then the straws are glass, so I'm gonna wrap those and um, just keep them separate and then each of my beer glasses I like to wrap with the bubble wrap so they don't break I know like it would look cute to wrap them with tissue paper but I don't want them to break they'll be packaged around a bunch of sweaters um, and I have to find a box hopefully I have a box large enough to fit this in otherwise I'm gonna have to take it to the office and find a box there.
I try to think outside of the box and make things easy for my customers and also avoid any problems. So I pack these straws up and I put this sticker on there so it doesn't accidentally get thrown away when they open the box thinking that it's just bubble wrap. I decided to go ahead and throw in a little gift. I'm doing a crystal pouch with a Ronadite crystal inside. I'm gonna go ahead and finish packing this order up. I always make sure that there is a enough tissue paper, bubble wrap in the box so that nothing is moving around so it doesn't break before it gets there. So I wanted to end this video before I send out this package by sharing with you who I use to find my shipping rates. And no, today's video is not sponsored by them. However, I would welcome a sponsored video by Pirate Ship. I have been using them since I started my business. It is really easy to use and what I love about it is I put my weight and dimensions in and I hit get rates and it tells me a comparison with different providers like UPS, FedEx. For example here, it's showing me that UPS is actually going to be a few cents cheaper than if I sent it through the post office. So I love this option. It's really helped me get a grip on what to charge for shipping rates per my items. Well, friends, it's been fun hanging out. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will catch you in the next one.